Thank you. <coughs> if you have some questions of the non-Muslim from the microphone. Non-Muslim. Yes, next question please. Preference yes. to non-Muslim brothers. I am Father Tisha Bala Surya. I am Sorry, can you speak a bit louder, Lord, brother? Please. <coughs> I am Father Tisha Bala Surya, a Catholic priest, a student of economics and, and theology. The question is, what is your view of climate warming? Can you suggest that we work, can the religions work together concerning climate change? And can you give some world leadership in this? And can I ask a question from the son also, whether he can lead a youth movement with reference to a better future world? Thank you. The previous father has asked a question about climate warming. That what do the religions have to say about climate warming? Is there any reference? And whether my son can be a youth leader that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. He is a dai, young dai, mashallah. One of the youngest dai that I know of. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide him. It depends upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala whether he can give the message. At present, he's giving the message of peace to all the people. That is which is my profession too. As far as the first question is concerned, that regarding climate warming, what do the religions have to say? There are various hadith. We speak about the various things that are mentioned. If you go to various hadith, it says that one day before the world ends, the deserts will again be a green pastureless land. Furthermore, today we know that the whole world is like a jigsaw puzzle, which initially recedes, if you come, it comes back to it. And today we find that the climate is changing. And it says that in the equator, the deserts too will become green pastureless land. So these are indications that before the world will end, there will be a change in the climate. So these are signs before the world ends. These are indications which science today say that today, you know, there is global warming and then you can see that the poles are receding, they're coming closer to the equator, slowly, slowly, so many kilometers in so much time, etc. So this is just the prophecy which is mentioned in the hadith. And again to let you know that the Quran is not a book of signs. S-C-I-E-N-C-E. -E. It's a book of signs. S-I-G-N-S. -S. The various ayats. It's a book which shows a human being how to lead life. Amongst more than 6,000 signs, ayats in the Quran, more than a thousand speak about signs. Because Today is the age of science and technology. You know, people are impressed with science. So Quran also speaks about science. It to prove itself to be the word of God. Hope that answers the question, brother. 